Are you relocating to Oklahoma City and wondering if you should rent or if you should buy a home when you get here? That's what we're going to talk about today, so stick around. Hi there, I'm Heather Evers with Your Best Life OKC, and I want to talk to you today about why I think you should probably rent before you buy your home if you're relocating to Oklahoma City. I know that that probably sounds like crazy advice because I am a realtor and I would love to sell you a home someday, but I really wanna sell you the right one. So I do suggest that if you're moving to this area and you don't know Oklahoma City, that maybe you rent an apartment or a little house um, for a couple months just until you kind of figure out what you're looking for here. So let's talk about all the reasons that I personally think you should rent for just a couple seconds before you buy. First of all, there are so many different types of neighborhoods in Oklahoma City, and I really think that you need to give yourself an adequate amount of time to really explore those and kind of decide what you like. We have downtown, there's like an arts district, there's uptown, there's midtown, there's right in the center of downtown. We have the Paseo. Uh, you just really wanna check out some of these areas, spend some time there. Go visit some restaurants, some museums, some shops, and see exactly where you want to be located. What kind of a vibe, what kind of a style are you looking for in Oklahoma City? So renting is also going to give you just a little bit of flexibility and give you an opportunity to kind of figure out what you want to spend here and what type of home you're looking for. Do you want something really modern? Do you want something more traditional? Are you looking for a bungalow? Um, these are things to consider. And until you've really had time to go around and visit some, it's going to be tough to decide. Okay, so financial considerations are obviously going to be included in this decision. Renting will give you a little bit of time to also walk the market and see you know if there's a particular style of house that you really like you're gonna be able to watch a few come up on the market see how long it takes them to sell see what people paid for it and then you'll have time to decide you know what does my budget really realistically look like here you may find that you can buy a lot more house than you were anticipating because Oklahoma cost of living and home prices are just hard to beat. So if you decide to rent, I also think it gives you a little flexibility in your job situation. Um, you may be relocating here for a job and whether or not that's the case, renting will give you time to kind of see what that commute looks like how well are you liking that job? Like, do you plan to stay there for a long time or is this gonna be like a one year kind of thing? And maybe you wanna buy your house in another area and commute until you make a changeover. Just give yourself that flexibility and kind of see where you're at with your new job while you rent and then we can head out and find your house. So there are a lot of different um, parks and sports communities and gyms and yoga studios and all kinds of things um, that you might want to explore. And again, check out proximity, check out kind of the style, see, you know, is your favorite gym down the block from a house that you think you want to buy? Kind of give that some thought because your area is definitely going to have a lot to do with your happiness in your new home. So, you know, if you really need to be next to this park that has great walking trails, explore those features and then we can kind of figure out what house and we'll be in the right proximity for you. So size is another consideration here. So while you're renting, you know, you could kind of figure out whether or not that square footage is going to be right for you and whether or not a different layout might actually be a better option, you know, to make it feel larger. Maybe you want it to be a little more cozy. Maybe you want to downsize a little bit from what you're renting. So if you kind of get your feet on the ground, rent something that you think is going to be the right square footage, and then you'll be able to adjust accordingly for the home that you purchase. 
Okay, so another important feature here is going to be your seasonal awareness. And um, we are a tornado having place here in Oklahoma. So, you know, you can kind of decide if you think you're gonna want an in-ground shelter in your garage in your home. Would you feel more comfortable with something that is like a safe room? Or do you want something that is built into the yard outside? Um, there's all kinds of different options for that. And then also just kind of give some thought to in the home that you're going to buy, where do you want the sun to set? What way do you want the house to face so that you have nice patio time in the evening, that kind of thing. Um, these are things you kind of want to explore a little bit and it's going to take time. So possibly you can figure some of that out in your rent house before we go shop. So to me, food is an enormous part of day-to-day -day life that brings enjoyment. And um, so, you know, check out some of the local restaurants and find out, you know, do you really need to live right across the street from your favorite sushi bar? Like you're not gonna know those kinds of things until you have attended some local restaurants. So I personally am now within walking distance of some very wonderful oysters, which is hard to find in Oklahoma. And that's one of my favorite things. So um, just think about things like that. And maybe while you rent, you can pick out your favorites. Another thing to think about is some of your, your leisure time, your hobbies. Um, are there places you know, associations that you're going to want to be a part of that are further away than where you thought you wanted to live. Um, if you're a church goer, you know, there might be a particular church that you feel like is your spot and you were planning to live 35 minutes from there and maybe after renting, you discover you really want to be 10 or 15 minutes away. So give those kinds of things some thought and um, think about your volunteer organizations, think about your other social engagements, um, think about the friends that you have met while you're here. Are you going to be um, close enough to them that you can go and have patio wine on Friday? Or do you really need to consider another area? So we talked already a little bit about your financial considerations, but one thing that you're probably just not going to know until you get here is what is your outgoing you know, spending gonna look like at your favorite grocery store, at your you know, favorite museum that you take the kids to like you want to know kind of what your monthly spending is going to look like here specifically and um, because again Oklahoma's cost of living is just phenomenal so give yourself time to kind of explore that and it may adjust your actual home purchase budget another thing to think about is if you are a big outdoor enthusiast do you want to be near a certain park and its walking trails and like we have Lake Hefner here in Edmond um, has phenomenal walking trails. There's actually a boating district there. Um, that's something you're going to want to give some thought because we're pretty spread out here and you can have to travel to your different, you know, your favorite outdoor activity spots. So you might want to figure out how to be close to your favorites. Okay, so this is a big one for a lot of people and I have had clients that had to really take this into very serious consideration. Your healthcare needs. Do you need to be very nearby a children's hospital or a particular medical practitioner? And um, that's something that it can take time to figure out when you get here. Um, you could go to one pediatrician and like them for the first couple visits and then decide that that is not your place. And you know, now you're driving your kid 45 minutes to their pediatrician to get a better choice. So again, I just think it is beneficial to maybe give yourself that little bit of time to figure those things out before you purchase your home. Okay, so if you work remotely like I often do, you might wanna figure out where the best co-working spaces are. And um, again, this is kind of a trial and error thing. And um, there are a lot of like co-working spaces here that you can choose. There are working spaces in some of the libraries. Um, you can obviously rent some individual spaces. So if you're a remote worker, you might wanna give yourself time just to kind of get your feet on the ground and figure that out um, before you go shopping. Another thing to consider here is transportation. Do you plan to have a car or will you need public transportation? Unfortunately, Oklahoma is probably not in the lead for public transportation options, but there are some. 
So we do have um, buses, we do have some trolley access, um, but sometimes you're looking more in maybe the downtown area for that, especially if you don't wanna have to walk or bike far to those stops. So get here, get that figured out before you decide where you wanna be. Okay, another huge one for me, probably second only to food, <laughs> is your pet situation. So you're gonna wanna get here and figure out where do you like to walk your dog if you have one? Um, what kinds of places you know, have the best yard situation for your pet? Or um, maybe you don't need that at all, but you're looking at having like a bonus room for your cat's crazy towers, you know? Um, give that some thought and you might need to shop accordingly. Another thing you might wanna think about is just what kind of home maintenance is required here in Oklahoma. So if you're renting, you can kind of observe what does your homeowner have to take care of? Are they treating regularly for termites or any kind of pet? Um, are they regularly having the, the roof looked at because we have storms here? Um, they're just things to help you kind of get an idea once you do purchase, um, what is your home maintenance gonna look like? What are those costs going to be? It's something then, you know, if you're renting, you can kind of spy on it and see what it looks like before you're actually responsible for those charges. Those are some of my reasons why I feel like it's probably a good idea for you to rent here before you come buy a house with me. Um, I know that that seems like weird advice coming from your realtor, but again, I just, I wanna sell you the right house, not just any house. So give me a shout, let's talk this over, see if you have any questions. Um, if you decide you wanna come into town and have a visit, maybe look around a little bit, um, I'm happy to do that with you. Just give me a shout. Okay, thanks for watching today. I hope that you will go on in and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you know when I post a new video and check out some of my other videos. I've got some good ones that might just help you along in this home process. Talk soon.